Now let's create pages for our individual products. In the same way we created a template for our category page, now let's create a file productpage.js inside of our templates folder. We'll import React and the GraphQL tag helper from Gatsby, and then we'll go ahead and export the product page. We'll destructure some data in just a sec, but first let's go ahead and return the H1 and the product price inside of a React fragment. And we'll use the price.formatted with symbol value that we got from the fragment that we created earlier in our GraphQL query. Then we'll export a page query, and similar to the way that we formatted the category page, we'll make a query to get our products where the ID matches the ID we pass in. We'll also alias check product to product using GraphQL aliases. Then lastly, destructure from the product page arguments and data, and inside of there, we'll strip out the product. Lastly, inside of Gatsby node.js, we'll make a query to get all of our check products. And for each of those nodes, we'll get the ID and permalink. Then we can destructure from data our all check product. Then if we copy and paste the all check category nodes for each function, we can simply rename category to product and slug to permalink. Then when we restart the server, we'll have individual pages created for all of our products. And you'll see here, if we head to the root of the site, we can click on any one of the products and we'll get the name and price. And the same if we go inside of a category, we'll get the products. And if you click through to one of those, we'll get the product info.